Hi, Sabrina here with another tutorial for you, and this is the helmet beanie, the um, Dallas Cowboys helmet beanie. And this is what the beanie looks like, as you can see here. It looks like the old school helmets. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make this beanie here. Okay, we're going to be using the same colors, but I'm going to switch it off. I'm going to turn this into gray, this into blue, and I'm keeping the white the same. And I'm going to show you how to make the star and the ear flaps, okay? So, the colors I'm using and the yarn I'm using is the Red Heart White, Red Heart Royal Blue, this is a dark, dark royal blue, I don't really know the exact color of it, but it's a dark blue. And I couldn't find Red Heart in this kind of gray, which is the Heather Gray, so I went with the Simply Soft, and this is Gray Heather as well. And I've already gone ahead and used a lot of this yarn already, as you can see here. We are going to be using a 4 or a 5 millimeter hook. This is for a child size, so I'm using a 4 millimeter hook. If you want this to be adult size, you want to use a 5 millimeter hook. And a tamperous needle to sew in our ends. So those are the tools and the material you're going to be needing for this project. To get started, what you're going to be needing to do is go to my tutorials and you're going to see the link below this tutorial here and we're going to do the double crochet beanie. I have a, a separate tutorial for the double crochet beanie and I've gone ahead and went up to the 28th row on my double crochet beanie. From here I'm going to fasten, um, I'm not going to fasten off, sorry. Once you get to the 28th row, you're going to put your hook in and we are going to chain up one and we're going to half double crochet all the way around. So each stitch you're going to half double crochet. Wrap the yarn over your hook, go into the next stitch over, wrap the yarn over your hook, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through all three. That's a half double crochet. Let me show you again. Wrap the yarn over your hook, go into the next stitch over, wrap the yarn over, pull through, wrap the yarn over, pull through all three. Repeat that all the way around until you get to the end.
Okay, my last one. Now I'm going to slip stitch on the top of my chain one. And we're going to fasten off from here. Pull the yarn all the way through. Pull nice and tight. And now I'll lock it in place. Now we're going to make the ear flaps on this. Let's put this to the side, grab the same gray yarn, make a slip knot, true hook through, chain up four. One, two, three, four. Now what you're going to do is double crochet 11 times in the first chain. This is our first chain right here at the very end. See this one? Now we are going to double crochet in this in that stitch. Eleven times. So there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one more, eleven. Now what you're going to do is pull nice and tight on that string in the middle. See that? I'm going to pull that string to bring the middle in. And we're going to chain up two. One, two. Turn your work around. Now we're going to be working along our stitches here. We are going to put two double crochets in each stitch. We're going to start with the first one that's attached to the chain two. We're going to put one double crochet there, just like I did. The next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets. The next stitch, we're going to put two double crochets, and we're just going to repeat that all the way to the end. Put two double crochets in each of the stitches. Next stitch, two double crochets. Next stitch. Two double crochets. Next stitch, two double crochets. Next stitch, two double crochets. Next stitch, two double crochets. And you're just repeating that till you get to the end right here. Next stitch, two double crochets. When you get to the end, you're just going to put one double crochet. So there's two. Now I'm at my last one. I'm going to put one double crochet. I'm going to chain up two. And now I'm going to turn my work around. Double crochet in the same stitch as the chain. Double crochet in the next stitch, two double crochets into the next, one double crochet in the next, two double crochets in the next. One double crochet in the next. Two double crochets in the next, and we're repeating that pattern all the way to the end. One double crochet in the next, two double crochets in the next. One double crochet in the next, two double crochets in the next. Two 
two double crochets, one double crochet, you're going to just repeat that all the way around. And my last one is coming up right now, two double crochets. Now the last one is one double crochet and then we're going to fasten off from here. So get your scissors, cut the yarn. Slip stitch that right through, all nice and tight. Then you want to take your needle here. And I'm grabbing the middle part of this as you can see. And what I do is I go around and back around again, locking everything in place. Okay, so you're going to make two of these. So I've gone ahead and I made two of the ear flaps. <coughs> now I'm going to sew them on. To do that, move this aside. I have my beanie laid down nice and flat right here. I'm going to use this tail as a marker because I only have one marker here with me right now. And the other one, you want to mark it, too. Okay, so I have each corner marked. That's one end, and that's the other end. When you're sewing these on, the mark will go right in the center. So, say right here. I'm going to open this up. My marker's already placed right there. And this part of the center of the the ear flap will go right in the center here just like so so that's how you'll sew it on you'll start from this end and start sewing it that way and it should be one two three four five six on that side and six on this side so you'll count back six here start sewing this on and just sew it um, um, sew it all the way across it'll be a total of 13 it should be The way I sew this on is my beanie's right here. This is the inside of my beanie, this is the outside. When you're sewing this on, you want to make sure your stitches are in the inside of the beanie because you don't want to have this big old clump. I don't know if you can see it here. There's going to be like this this mark here and you can tell that you actually sewed it on from there. So you want to have it nice and clean. So what I do here so I fold it over and I start sewing from like that. So let me get my needle. So I'm starting from one end and I'm counting back six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to start from right here, grab my first stitch right here, and start sewing on. As you can see, I'm going in both stitches from the beanie and the stitches from the ear flap. I'm going to let down the stitches. And 
and sewing this on. When I get here, I'm going to take my marker out. Do the center here. And now I'm going to work the other side. See how my ear flap is folded and when I flip it over it's going to have that nice clean stitching. So that's what I mean by folding it. Okay, now I'm going to go back the opposite way just to secure these in there really good because with kids and everything they like pulling on ear flaps. So you want to make sure it's secured. So I'm just going back the opposite way. last one. Now I'm just going to tie my ends together making sure everything is nice and secure and I'm going to do the same thing to the other side with the other ear flap sewing it on. Okay. And this is what I mean how you get that nice clean finish. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, so you want the inside to look like this, the outside to look like this. And you'll do the same thing to the other side. Fold it right over and start sewing it along. Okay, so I sewed on both of my ear flaps and now what we're going to do is put the border around the ear flaps and the beanie itself. So what I do is I take my yarn, I fold it in half and I start from one corner, the very end of the corner. I put my hook through and then I feed my yarn through it. We are going to chain up one and we're going to half double crochet to the other side of this in each stitch, just half double crochet. Get this I'm laying down my loose end so I can crochet right over it. Mm, I didn't get all my yarn here. Let me get that again. Okay. There we go. We're just half double crocheting to the other side.
Okay, when we get to the corner here, we're going to half double crochet. And now we're going to half double crochet around the ear flaps. So you're going to go into each of the stitches and half double crochet all the way around the ear flaps. Okay, my last one here, and now I'm going to be working along the back of the beanie, the other side of the beanie pretty much. So we're just going to be going into each of the stitches to the other side till we get to the other ear flap, and we're going to do the same thing to the other ear flap.
Okay, now we're going to slip stitch on the top of our chain one. And you want to fasten off. Pull the tail all the way through your loop. Pull nice and tight to secure it. And then you want to sew in your end. When I sew, I sew from up and then I go right back down again. We got our beanie done with their ear flaps. Now we have to make the stripe that goes right across the top here. And we're going to do that in a different color, the dark blue. So I'm going to lay this down so you guys can get a better view of the color because it's kind of hard to see. You're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain up 63. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. 27, Okay, so I have my chain of 63. I'm going to double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, three, four, start here, double crochet. And now we're going to double crochet all the way down the chain to the very end in each stitch. drop my thing here. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to make sure your ear flaps are folded nice and even. As you can see here, I'm lining everything up perfectly so I can get the center. And once you get the center, you want to lay this nice and straight down. Start sewing it from this side up before you flip it over. That way you know it's even from this side. Okay? Okay. 
So now I'm going to get some yarn here, thread my needle. And I'm not worried about these loose ends here because I'm going to sew them in later. And I'm just going to go in each stitch. Now we have um, double crochets up here and half double crochets here. So what you're going to do is double crochet this stitch down as you can see here. Then I'm going into the next one. And that's my two rows of the half double crochet. Now we're here the double crochet. So double crochet is pretty much two um, single crochets together pretty much. So what you're going to do is you're going to put two stitches in one double crochet. So lay it nice and straight down. You're going to go into the first stitch and then the second. Just like so. So now you have two stitches and one double crochet and you're just moving it up. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to sew this on making sure it's nice and straight. It will move on you so you want to make sure you're always keeping it straight when sewing it on. always stop double check over and over again until I know it's on there straight. It will be a hassle taking this apart and redoing it again. So take your time on sewing this on. I'm going into the top of my stitches instead of going in and out. You guys can see that clearly. my alarm Okay, so now I'm on the very top here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that's nice and straight and looks like it is to me. I'm going to turn my work around, gain the back side, laying this part as flat as down as possible as well. When you're doing the top, you want to make sure you open it up because here in the center you're not going to be able to get all those stitches. So make sure you sew them on as good as you can. I just stick my hand into the beanie itself and start sewing it on.
Okay, so now I got the top done. Now I'm going to work the bottom here, making sure it's lined up perfectly. You don't want to pull and stretch this. You want to make sure it's nice and on there good because when they put the beanie on, it will stretch open as you can see here and you want that to happen. So make sure you sew this on as good as you can. And lining everything up here. Again. Lay it nice and down. Okay. Now I'm going to start sewing it on again. It keeps on moving on me. I'm <laughs> trying to do this with the camera in front of me. A little difficult. Okay, now I'm at the very end here and I'm getting my last stitch in. And what we're going to do now is slow, sew along the bottom here. So what I do is I tuck in my loose ends right in there so they don't bother me. And you don't have to sew them in afterwards. So now I'm just going to start sewing across here. And then we're going to work up the other side. Okay. So now the other side, I'm just going to do the same thing and sew all the way up, going into each of the stitches. And I'll meet you there. Okay, so now I'm finished sewing it up and I just sewed in my ends and cut off the loose ends and everything. And now I have the beanie sideways with the ear flaps attached to each other. And what we're going to do is make this star here and we're going to sew the star on right here. So let me show you how to make the star. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get the blue yarn here.
and you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain up two. And the first chain, you're going to single crochet five. So in the very first chain, which is right here, five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. Pull tightly on the loose end and slip stitch on the top of your first single crochet. The first stitch you see there, slip stitch. Chain up one, single crochet in the same stitch as the chain one, and now each stitch all the way around, we're going to put two single crochets in each of the stitches. So two single crochets in each of the stitches till we get back to the end. slip stitch on the top of your first single crochet that you did, chain one, single crochet back into that same stitch as the chain one, and this round we're going to put one single crochet into the next, two single crochets into the next. And we'll repeat that pattern all the way around. One single crochet in the next, two single crochets in the next. One single crochet, two single crochets. One single crochet, two single crochets. One single crochet, two single crochets. One single crochet, and we're back at the end here. We're going to slip stitch on the first single crochet that you did. We are going to chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Third chain from the hook. One, two, three. We are going to single crochet. The next chain, we're going to um, half double crochet. So you're going to wrap the yarn over your hook, go into that stitch, pull through all three. The next stitch, double crochet, and the next chain we're going to do a triple crochet. Triple crochet, you wrap the yarn over your hook th twice, as you can see here. Now you're going to go into this chain, wrap the yarn over, pull through, you're going to have four in your hook. You're going to wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over, pull through two, wrap the yarn over and pull through two. You do that three times. That's a triple crochet. Now what we're going to do is we're going to skip three um, stitches. One, two, three. Actually we're going to go into the third stitch. Sorry. So you're going to go into the third stitch. One, two, three. And you're going to single crochet. Now we are going to chain up six. Again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and we're repeating that same thing because this is the tip of the star. So what we're going to do is go um, down three chains, single crochet into the third chain, half double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, triple crochet. Go into the third stitch, one, two, three, single crochet, chain up six, and we're just repeating that again. Four, five, one more, six, single crochet into the third chain, 
from the hook, half double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, kind of hard getting in there, my chains are a little tight, and triple crochet into the last chain. Okay, go to the third stitch, one, two, three, single crochet. So now we have three on here, we got to do two more, so let's chain up six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Single crochet into the third front chain from the hook, half double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, triple crochet into the next, one, two, into the chain, pull through two, pull through two, pull through two. Now we are going to go into the third one, one, two, three, single crochet, chain up six, one, two, three, four, five, six, single crochet into the third chain from the hook, half double crochet in the next, double crochet in the next, triple crochet in the next. Then we're going to skip three, one, two, three, go into that third one, single crochet, single crochet into the next stitch, and now what we're going to do is single crochet along our star um, spikes here. So we're going to go into the rows here, single crochet, up the rows, should be three, four rows. So it's like there's three, now the tip is the fourth one, and you're coming right back down again going into the stitches. And we're just single crocheting all the way around. When you get here, you just go into the rows. It just makes it so much easier. hear noises, it's my little one running around upstairs. Okay, we're just single crocheting all the way around. So if you hear the yelling and the noises, they're doing construction on my neighbor's house right next door to me and the kids are outside yelling at them so I'm <laughs> trying to get this done but if you guys hear those weird noises in the background, I'm going to apologize. <coughs> I'm 
Okay, so it looks like I'm at the end here, which I am. I'm going to slip stitch into the next and fasten off. Pull that all the way through my loop. Pull nice and tight. And for me, instead of sewing everything in, I'm just going to tie these two together because I am going to be sewing this on here so it is secured. And that won't come loose. And then I'm just going to cut it. So now, you're going to make two of these. One for each side. Now, what I'm going to do here is we just lay this flat down. I have my ear flaps together like this so I make sure that it's right in the center. I'm going to grab the white yarn thread my needle and what we're going to do here is you want to make sure this is down. You don't want it like this because then the star looks like it's upside down. You want the point to be pointing at the very top of here whenever you're putting a star on there. And what we're going to do is I like to start from the top here. So I'm going into the whole beanie itself, grabbing the very top. I want to make sure this is right in the center here. So I'm putting my hand in here to hold it in place. And I'm going in and out on the other side. And this is how we're going to be doing this. So now I have one side in. Now I'm going in and out through the other way. And I'm going into the like the back of the post. And then I'm in the front of the post and I go in the back of the post pretty much when I'm sewing this in. So that one's in there. So now I'm going to the next one. I know it's hard to see because of the dark color. Okay, and I'm just going in and out, making it look like it's sewed on, pretty much, like a stitch. See how that looks? And that's what I'm doing. I'm going into each corner, making sure I get it all. And we're just going along the edges here, making sure everything is even. And this one's coming back down again. Going back up.
I did get it. I gotta take mine out just a little bit on two stitches because I got a hold of the other side because I wasn't holding it down. So I'm gonna make sure I get that out of there. Sorry about this. I went into a little too deep. So now I'm at the end here, and what I'm going to do is I'm sending it right through the inside of the beanie. So I want to pull that through, and the other one as well. I want to pull that through there. The inside, and then I'm just going to tie them together and cut the ends off. That way it doesn't show from the outside. And now you'll do the same thing to the other side and you'll get this. See that? Both sides. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, happy crocheting and please comment and subscribe below. Thank you. Bye.